Welcome back to Finnegan's Farm, welcome back to the YouTube channel and welcome back to Workshop Wednesday. My name is Paul and this is our team. Hello, I'm Mick and I'm the mechanic. Hello, I'm Caelan Russell and I'm the mechanic. Hello, I'm Sean, I'm the patent mechanic. Hello, my name is Marco, I love to go. This is Bruce, this is Blake, them two best students. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the videos and comment if you want and we will get back to you. Normally Paul is in this spot but I'm going to take over here today for today's episode. So in for repair today, we have our Tepla, we have our Staya, we have an update on our 3650s and we have our Land Cruiser G. Just and before we get started, I just want to raise awareness to our Edward Cosgrove Memorial Charity Fundraiser and Tractor Run. It's on the 20th of August in Longwood County Mead and registration is in the village, uh, in the village green from 12 o'clock noon and moving off at 2pm. It's in aid of the Longwood community and locality. So I'd highly recommend for anyone in the locality to go to that. So first of all, we're going to go to our Tepla. Now, so we have our Broadwater Tepla here. Now, we have to regularly change this top bar. So what this top bar and the side bar will do, you can set them in narrower and, small, and not as high for when you're tippling boxes. They have to be in fairly tight, just so that when you do flip the box, it doesn't fall out. Now this bar, when we're switching between spud boxes and dollops, we'll have to raise and lower it. But here on the side where, we, where it clamps the hole in the bar, the steel here was threaded, but the threads were pulled inside. So all I done was I cleaned the insides that holds out the die grinders, they're not threaded anymore, and welded on these nuts, and they're held by lock nuts. It's a fairly simple job to do, but that's just a repair to, to keep that machine moving. But I can only imagine threads will wear again, and we'll be doing the same thing, but that's just part of the jays of it. We have our sprinter in a uh, delivery van. Now, very important to have a reversing camera or a back camera of some sort on it. As you can see here, we have fitted one on the back of it. Now, not so easy on something like this because why you make insulated. an insulated panel inside right. means it's very hard to run wires. No, I mean, the camera it is, it was only for reverse. I like to come off the reverse light. Yeah. Oh. Feed up on, but I cannot get up into here. Why not, Mick? Because it's not, it's um, sealed, insulated, and, and it's rock wool. Right. It's not the ordinary um, packets, it's hard as nails. Yeah, so it's very hard. I had a cable up to the bend, but I couldn't get it across. Right, so you went for a handier option, did you? Who knew to go for that? I think I'd tell you to go for that. Interior light, nice and local, up above. Yeah. The only problem with that is it's on all the time, but the consumption is Nothing. Point zero point zero three, I think. Which Nothing. means that we probably will get away with it. I sure it won't be long to find it out. Uh, what do we go for? Just to, it's, it's not a very yeah, it's not a very expensive one. Of course, got some. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't be just mad on the screen and they're a little bit small, eight pounds. Yeah. Anyway, I suppose it's, it is nice and compact. And it's really only for anything that you might see, um, especially when you're going into these delivery places. It mm. can be kind of tight out spots, and generally, someone is driving behind you or across behind you at some mm. stage. So, yeah, look, it has the reversion. Just and, and this one has the guidelines, the red, yellow and green lines. And by fluke, the yellow, I can't get it to come down to pick up the back bumper. Right. So if I do that, you can't see behind them. Yeah. But the yellow lines are coming just on the red, is on the tip of the door there. You can see it on the screen. So, so just, just to, to clarify then, we just went from that light up there. The which material, is which yeah, is permanently so, light. Yeah, and then you don't need any cable from here to no, the bottom. So it's a wireless camera and we just need to power up inside. But see the marks are oh, I've changed that new. See the bottom of the door here? It's oh, just yeah. on the middle of the yellow, but he can adjust that to suit. Right. It means he can back up to something, he knows how far he can go, and he can still open the doors. So because that they, these don't have um let's say a mirror on them, because obviously you can't see behind it, would it be a possibility of putting it somewhere there, Mick? Yeah, probably do. Put up now, you know what those are. Yeah, we should, we should get some sort of a sticky back that yeah, might be able to. Yeah. But the thing is, you will have a bit of wire coming yeah. down unless you route it round. It's not long enough, it's it. And, uh, and of course, the cigarette lighter is banging right, in the so middle. So, where have you gone for here from a power cigarette source? lighter? Cigarette lighter. Yeah. yeah. Which unfortunately is apparently live. Now, unless when I lock it up, there's a time delay, I haven't checked that yet. Yeah, but you were saying that that's. that's I, really I, I almost thought it's illegal because I remember he asked many years ago, who was got the kids killed in fingers? Because they were sitting outside, the parents went into the house or whatever. And the cigarettes. So the kids were playing cigarettes later, put on the seat and found them. Yeah, but we can we can figure that out. But I would imagine that once the uh, once the stop, I would, I would it, hope it probably, so. Huh? I would hope so because I don't want that life. It means he has to turn it off or unplug it every time. Yeah, which really is not ideal. No, and that won't happen. Power consumption on this would it be measured down. 
Also it'll be minimal. Also, look at it. Tell you what, man, this is it's a. Uh, Maypole. Maypole. Digital wireless receiving camera uh, plus additional camera. That's really it, guys. Now, hopefully, that will keep ours happy to see Evan behind him. This um, is never going wrong with it. Huh? This is never going wrong with it. Well, this, this might be his first time on the camera. <laughs> Okay, we're here this morning at the Land Cruiser. Um, went, went to it this morning to move it and the handbrake was locked on. Um, released it the usual way, back in for, forward and reverse and, generally, and then it just um, let go. Um, but when you pull the handbrake at slightly at all, it was snatching. And I checked all, the, these are the shoes here. Springs are okay, top and bottom. I checked the shoes, but the shoes weren't chamfered. They had a straight edge. You can see it here in the mirror on this one. Can you see that? dead straight edge and that causes, causes what's called self servo application. So what we do is we chamfer the edge there with a file and hopefully that will cure our problem. So that's our Land Cruiser fix now thanks to Mick, our uh, personal Land Cruiser specialist that we have here on the farm. So as you can see with what Mick had to do to fix the problem, just have to put a little bit of a tape on the end of the shoes and it's absolutely flying now. So good man Mick. We have the 3650s back and we plan to do something with them over the next week or so, hopefully yeah. without uh, being interrupted, which is probably some of the reasons why we don't get back down to it. Now, the last time you would have seen in the videos, we had air con was put in, cab was put on. And all the electrics, everything was working. Other was than was the wired up, Caleb, you, you wired up and he had everything working. We parked in the car now, and then we went to start it and all of a sudden then, I don't know, must have yeah. been... Uh, <laughs> Now, I know the original dash that was in this was taken out, I'm fairly sure I could be wrong, but for the 2140. Yeah. For, I can't remember the exact reason actually. So we, we ended up with, with a series of dashes, some that we, we picked up, we did one or two, I think one of them was the second and one we got in Connie's, I think it was off uh, 2650, even though yeah. we have a 2650. And this one was off... A 3040. A 3040 two wheel drive, because it doesn't have the four wheel drive, four -wheel drive switch. switch. Um, this side I think is okay, but I think we have issues there with the wiring going down, the multi-plug coming down, the power not getting down to these uh, instruments here because some of them are working and now there's none of them working. So I, uh, I think that was changed actually for if there's no click on that. No, that's not. Yeah. There was one for, that was in the. And, and we did have these uh, the circuit boards off them. I think Mick did go through them or you and through them just to I, check all the pins on them that there was no because they will crack. They'll crack here on, on the, on back, the, on the, the back of the back of the plug, uh, and you just might get a connection on it there. So look, at, we're just going to have to start all over again here, which is not ideal. But we will bring in the 3350 as a, a marker just to see. Yeah, it's uh, a what, good what reference. We, point yeah, for just need just need to pin it down. As regards, then we have a few wiper bores here. They were in the cab, but not just quite sure. I think it's working. between the two tractors. I was trying to get one of them working just quickly to eliminate if there was something wrong with the tractor side of it. And yeah, what well, was wrong now? I can't remember now, but but I suppose a lot of the work now comes down to the cab on it. Uh, mechanically, it's starting well, yeah, it's starting to start starting driving everything. Uh, well, when we had we're using it last, everything worked. Yeah, it was we were at the stage where we were happy enough to just put panels on, and yeah. that was us coming to the end. Now we do have a few repairs to do to it to get back to where it was 12 yeah, months and ago. And then we still have the other one there, which is beside us. We have the wheels to go onto that. So, look, we're just going to concentrate here, maybe on the on the controls and uh, the electrical end of it, just to see that we get it up and running um, on the key. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go as we go along. We've also sourced a blow point radio. Now, this lad mightn't remember back in the day when when the blow point radios were flat out on the scene. We'd have Atlantic 252 long wave and uh, we'll be belting out the tunes there so um, I'm not sure whether we get that anymore but just to keep the tractor to a, a little bit of a original um, as it was we'll say we're going to we have two of these now I think we bought them on eBay for well, the over the hundred the the over hundred, yeah, they're probably dearer than a new radio but anyway <laughs> we, we just said we go with them it was hard enough to find them um, and that one has the, the buttons on it there and the volume up and down so and I think it does work doesn't it I'm very sure we had it. I think we, yeah. I just, we'll I think figure it out, I know. We just can't remember <laughs> that long since we've been at this, but uh, yeah, that's that's for uh, 
that'll go well in the cab as well and uh, we have a few tunes coming out of it, won't we? Yeah, we will, of course. Okay, Mick, you seem to have a problem here with a bad earth on... Uh, uh, a, fa a, fa a Christmas tree job flashing. Everything yeah. is flashing on it. We, I know it's a bad earth, but it's just a show way of checking it. Okay. A handy way. First one, it's one around here, Sean. I have a voltmeter there. Now, to be sure, I've run my jumper lead from the negative on the battery back to here, because if I start checking on bad airs here, it could be bad on the cab or whatever. Yeah. At least now I know I'm definitely all the way back to the battery on the oh, negative. Oh, so you, you've, you've rooted back yeah, to the battery. all yeah. the way. Okay. Then if I put my tester on there, you can see my volts are flashing up and down. Okay? Yep. Now, there's a quick way of proving this. If I change this to amps, this is now like a length of wire, but I also have a reading on it. And if I put that on there, oh, magic. It works. Yes. Okay. Now, there is an easier way if you don't have a meter. If you're at home, just the air lead. Yeah, yep. Just touch it off the body of the light, and it's exactly the same. Exactly just I was same, able yeah. to read what I was doing the way I am. I know now my air is from this piece here to the wing is bad. Yeah. Let me just clean that up. And we should be awesome. Which is, the earth is probably in yeah, the back of it. No, I think on this, the earth was running all the way back, but we had a temporary earth going in there. You can't, the red wire is going over to, over to the bolt. I'd say it's just loose, our bad connection, or maybe the paint is interfering with it. Yeah, we'd have to get on to Caden for that one. He's yeah. the one that rewired it there, so. Uh, and fairness is wrong. Huh? But in fairness, that's all that was wrong, yeah. we just have a bad earth. Oh, it's that. nice, you're not having to mess with yeah. one of the wires and cables. It's a simple one anyway. Yeah. So we're getting there with the 36. Yes, we're seeing the light. Yeah, we're mm. seeing the light. So anyways, to conclude the end of our update on our 3650s this time, we got our new right hand dash. Now, whatever was wrong with the other one, it wouldn't even let the tractor start. But now the tractor is absolutely on the button. So if I can get my ignition on. Slightly flat battery, but anyways. She is on the button and everything is working. So all our individual lights and everything, four wheel drive, your walk lights, <laughs> horn, everything's working. My diesel gauge is intermittent, it's still reading a quarter of a tank, but it's hovering up and down. We're just having a look at that, but it will read a quarter of a tank for the most part. Water temperature is fine. All of these lights now are working. There's none of them that don't work. So electrically now, more or less, Mick was fitting our radio and it was working, but it's not working now, just as we're about to fit it up. But this is the tractor, more or less, electrically complete, even down to my air seat working. Now, I have a gasket to put on the thermostat housing for a water leak, and I have a, an oil leak up here on top of the, the shift cover. So once I fix them two things, I think we're ready to then start throwing on panels. So um, you'll see that in the next update anyways. But if I had a... Uh, Good news we run at it anyways, and we're ready for panels. So hopefully it should look like a new tractor the next time you see it. So now it's time for tips and tricks, tips and tricks. On this week's tips and tricks, door locks on our cab. Um, this one had a problem where the plastic here had slid forward and was jamming, fouling there on that part there. You can see the mark of it there in front of it. These have an adjustment on them. You can slide that if you loosen this Allen key here. And basically what you do with the door latched, just show you how to deal with that. I'll we'll have to tighten it. Hold on. That's it open. To latch it, just do this, it's a double latch. And we're back there. Just bring this back far enough that it's just barely pulling this part here. Can you see that? Just there, don't, ha don't have it too tight on it. Set it to there and tighten that adjuster there. Don't go too mad on it. 
and we should be good. That latch is sticky, we need to free that up. And obviously put a bit of grease in here then into the whole thing, we'll leave the cover off it. And the job should be oxo. Always, when you're testing, make sure before you close the door that the lock releases. Because otherwise you slam the door and if you haven't got a door on the other side, you're in trouble. Okay? okay. So that's it for this week's Workshop Wednesday. I hope you've enjoyed. Please be sure to like, subscribe and comment on the videos. We will get back to you. I've met everyone here at Finnegan's Farm. We'll see you all next Wednesday.